the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 110 to Samuel 21 to 22. A soldier makes a soldier. By accepting the request of the people of Gibeon, David tried to settle the past and praised God whilst reflecting on his past life. First point, the three years of famine during David's monarchy was because Saul failed to keep the covenant that was made during the days of Gibeon. During the reign of David, there was a famine for three successive years, so David sought the face of the Lord. This story has its roots in the times of Joshua. When Joshua was conquering land, there was an instant when the people of Gibeon tried to fool Joshua in order to establish peace with Israel. And then after that, Saul killed the people thereby going against the promise. And so God said, it is an account of Saul and his blood-stained house. It is because he put the Gibeonites to death. God so brought famine on the land to make Israel realize this. This famine lasted for three years. Second point, David held the funeral for all the members of Saul's family. In order to solve the issue of the famine that occurred for three years during the days of David, David went to the people of Gibeon to ask them a few questions. What the people of Gibeon requested was the seven people from the house of Saul so that they could punish them. So David listened to their request and sent them two of Saul's sons and five of his grandchildren. But in order to keep his covenant with Jonathan, he did not send Mephibosheth and protected him until the end. Among the people that were sent, two were the sons born from Saul's concubine, Lizpah. This incident exposed how Lizpah had protected the dead bodies of her sons from the animals. David heard of this and carried out the funeral for the remaining members of Saul's family. After David carried out the funeral for the family members of Saul, the three years of famine came to an end. We remember that Moses also conducted countless funerals. Both Moses and David conducted numerous funerals during their time as leaders. Third point. The matter of who fights in war is a secondary matter. Back when David was a teenager, he had already fought with bears, lions, and even Goliath. Afterwards, David spent many of his days fighting more battles. He was always a courageous warrior. God had given David the ability to fight with Goliath and Leighton. God gave abilities to Israel to win battles. As such, who fights is a secondary matter. Battles belong to God. We come across those who fought for David. There was Abishai who killed the giant Ishbi ben -op to save David. The next was Sibekai who also killed a giant. The third was Elhanan who killed the brother of Goliath. The fourth was Jonathan, who also killed those who cursed Israel. David killed the giant Goliath, and then after him, others killed in order to maintain and protect a kingdom of priests. Fourth point, like Moses sang God's praises before he died, David also sang God's praises before he died. The leader of Exodus, Moses, sang of God's Praises. God called Moses his servant. God also called David his servant. David also sang God's praises. 
David Sang of God's Salvation by using metaphors such as rock, shelter, and refuge. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent people, you save me. He asked God for help when he was in distress. He also confessed that it was only through God's law and by him being faithful to it that he could live a blessed and fulfilling life. Fifth point, David sang that he would praise for the rest of his life. Therefore, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing kindness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. David's praise expanded beyond him to all the people of all nations. At times, it was difficult for David to protect himself. He had to escape from the sword of Saul and then had to experience countless hardships. But David always had a vision of praising God. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.